wise guy. Yeah. This is episode with Steve Carell uh, playing this uh, guy named Dan or Stan. I can't remember which one it is. Um, turns out he's an accountant for Fat Tony's mob, and after Fat Tony gets called into jury duty, he has uh, Steve uh, Steve's character uh, be the new uh, Dom. Yeah, and Steve is very good at it since he's kind of afraid of the mobsters. But after some advice from uh, Mo, he's to start trying to, uh, in, to get his uh, dominance over uh, uh, the mobsters. Um, with Lisa, Sassy passes out during uh, a bad recital. And I just hate it when Marge is just hoping that it's because of the vegetarianism. And Dr. Hibbert there is a little bit of that and Lisa has to take some uh, vitamin pill that uh, well, when Hibber just uh, pops him out to actually sound like iron and Lisa isn't able to uh, swallow them. And I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Doris suggests that Lisa eat bugs. Uh, Lisa is against it at first and says she's uh, an vegetarianism, and, but looks like Dor Doris actually says that a lot of vegetarians eat bugs. Uh, Bugs. Um, later on, Lisa just goes to a book banquet with some other uh, bug foodies. Uh, I think my aunt's trying to get her eating meat again when she offered Lisa so much shrimp. But decides to help actually eat it for she does. And as he tries the grown. grown at. Uh, 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 a centipede? No, that's the uh, some their home home bugs. Like, forget. I think it's crickets, but whatever. Anyway, after having a bad dream and uh, sleep meeting or meet sleep whatever, he says Asper to take the bugs away from her. Let them go free, but as the as the uh, Accidentally drops the jar of the grasshoppers in the basement in the of their, their ground. And yeah, he does a uh, half ass the job. Anyway, back with the accountant Don, Fat Tony just uh, tell him to uh, whack a few guys since the stand has been there uh, cutting corners on the mob. And when he and he just changed to let them let some of the guys go but Tony's saying that he actually gotta I uh, take them out. So he uh, kinda goes insane well it's saying Irway pops out Homer's car after he uh, opens it to does uh have him drive at gunpoint and then this episode reels why Wickham is a cop so he said he's a adrenaline junkie. I don't know. Uh, Homer decides that uh, Steve uh, uh, down to the chair as uh, he's like he likes it. But Lisa's least it's got uh, centipede. Oh my god, Jenna. At least his bugs just, just start attacking going to his mountain that and Homer actually sets uh, the guy free and just follows him when he's trying to kill some of the people. And the pair when there's Dan gave uh, Homer the gun and then it just uh, there's just a scene with Homer keeping the gun away from him and Dan wanted the gun. It's stupid. Really, really stupid. And then Lisa sets her uh, bugs free and they eat a corn maze. I didn't think that. Oh, you know. Uh, I didn't. Think crickets at uh, eight corn, but that's what I know. Uh, but Tony back in charge of the mob, and they did uh, save money by having just one gun. 
uh, Don gets the job as uh, an ear piercer in the mall. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like this episode. It wasn't really the funniest. I don't like Steve Carell. I don't know why people think he's funny. Like, I think the episode with Ray Romano is better than I think, like, him either. And it's kind of just happy to the character saying first being a spineless accountant, but after talking to Maui, he just gave me a bit of a crazy person threatening people but didn't still have a spine to kill them. But I think because of the sound that they're being attacked by the, the crickets kind of gave them a dramatic experience that he went the, off the deep end they can be cold kill somebody. Ugh, don't know. And again, same with Lisa and Marge hoping it's a vegetarianism that caused her uh, a fainting spell. Yeah, I don't know if it's worse, this or one Lisa to be to get married even though Lisa doesn't plan to get, uh, get married. I don't know what they did to Marge. Like, I always saw she was born, but at least he accepted the life choices of her kids. I just don't know. Um, just if the jury so fat Tony was kind of go with the like with the what they shown. And some of the joke names for the mobsters were good. Um, the, the cow's guy was. A little bit funny, but mm. anyway, uh, that's like a better episode with Barrett wanting to get, I want to have it, a, a little bracket scene in the bond that Lisa and Maggie have. And he kind of gets one, but uh, I guess uh, next time. And next time, I'll see you guys later.